Hello everybody and welcome back to Tempest HD where today we're going to be having a look at the All Interiors mod or Open All Interiors mod where you'll be able to access every single building you could go into on single player um, again. So now we're going to quickly head over to one of the buildings. We're going to probably go to the Life Invader offices. Offices. I'm going to teleport there to save time. Or not. So, we're gonna. So you can go to every single building you went to. So, the FIB building, uh, the building for Kiflom, if you've been there, that tiny little storage room, and as I've said, the Life Invader offices. You can just go in, go into every room. So, if it had a door which looked like it could be opened, the the usual doors that look like they can be opened. They normally can be opened um, if they have windows on them. That's what I sort of mean. So that one probably can't be. Maybe we can most of these. This one can because you go through here, and then you can head up here to where you complete one of the first ever levels. Now you can probably not head into many of the rooms in the Life Invading offices, only the ones that you access in that tiny little storage room down there. But you can go in here, and this is the one where you plant the bomb. And then you've got all the Life Invader computers. I wonder if you can use the... Nope. So now we're going to teleport to... I think we're going to teleport to the... I'll show you the... Kiflon building. It's going to cause so much lag, I'm just teleporting all the way across the map. Actually, it should be fine. Just upgraded. So, now if we head into here, there you go. It's a tiny little office with all the office, storage room with all the Kiflon Epsilon program posters. Did I call it? They're the same thing, I think. And then, what's this here? This is Martin Madrazo's house. Um, Madrazo's. Another really unique building in this game. What's that? Don't remember that. Actually, I do. This will be the building you go into for the the car, the space docker. So I'm not going to show you all the buildings, obviously, because there's about twenty something, maybe nineteen. I can't remember. Thirty six, even. There you go. I'm going to show you another. I'm going to show you the big one context everywhere. Uh, teleport there. And here we are. The FIB offices. So any building you went into you can access. You can probably go and access Franklin's old house. Actually I know for facts you can. So you can go in here and then you can walk into these. Got the fancy opening. So you can probably go into here. I take that back. The cool thing with the FIB offices is the reason I'm showing you it is because the elevator's open. So you can go to that floor or this floor. I don't think this one opens. Nope. So I'm going to head to this one. So I think the offices are the. One of the elevators takes you to the. Can't remember. One of the elevators takes you to the destroyed floor of the FIB, the other one takes you to the normal. This will be the destroyed one. Do I have a flashlight on any of these? Flashlight. Will it work? Was it G? No, nope, very much not. And I just got taken back down. So that's one of the floors I can't really show you around that. It's too dark for a video. And then for this one, it's probably H, isn't it? L. I can't remember. But this one should take me to the... God, I can't remember. This is the one you go to um, before you blow it up, like the janitor one. And you can see the unrendered city. Oh my god, it is actually rendered. Never mind, take that back. So I'm going to show you around the rest. So this is a really cool place to go if you've got friends online. Um, 
I think there's a way to probably get here online. You can probably just teleport in and then I don't know. Like going to a private lobby, use a trainer and use that. So I don't know if it works online, it probably doesn't, but there's a person there. Can I shoot him? Oh I can. Shoot me back. Sorry. <laughs> and I think that's about it. I've done pretty much a full circle of the FIB building. So that so you can go to all of the buildings you went to. So I don't know, let's get an example. That one's kind of weird, it's like a cafe sort of thing, but it teleports you all over the place. This one is Floyd's house. This one is the place you go to for the drug deal where it turns into a police shootout. Maze Bank. And let's show you a really odd one. Let's see. You can head into the chicken factory if you want. Um from the the heist in Polito Bay. So there you go. And this is the nice storage room. So this is the Stanley Parable ending. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Good night.